the letter to Thessalonica. Apostle Paul was originally a Jew named Saul. Paul thought that people who believed in Jesus lived differently from God's will, so he tried, tried hard to lock them up or even kill them. Then one day, Paul went to a town called Damascus and ended up meeting Jesus. Jesus said that Paul would be a vessel through which to spread gospel to the foreigners, kings, and people of Israel. After that, for many years, Paul began to study Jesus and his teaching as told in the Old Testament and started to realize what he had to do. He went on three mission trips to Mediterranean cities outside of Israel, preaching the gospel and even to Rome, the capital of the Roman Empire. These stories of Paul are recorded in detail in the book of Acts. While on his mission trips, Paul would stay in a place for a few days to a few years, building churches and teaching the gospel in detail to those who already believed in Jesus. Many Christians were sad to see Paul leave when he went to other cities. They sent letters to Paul whenever they had questions about Jesus or faith or what it means to live as a Christian. The 13 books of Paul's letters we see in the Bible are comprised of letters that these Christians and Paul exchanged. And the very first letters that Paul wrote are recorded in the first Thessalonians, which are letters that, we, that were sent to the church at Thessalonica. In chapter 17 in the book of Acts, it says that Paul preached the gospel for three weeks in Thessalonica during his mission trip. Many Greeks who lived there began to believe in Jesus after listening to Paul's stories. But there were also Jews who hated the fact that Paul was spreading the gospel there. And because of those who hated him, Paul had to move on to different cities as if he were being kicked out. Paul, having left Thessalonica, must have been worried whether the Jews would make life difficult for the Christians left behind and whether the Christians would be able to continue to practice their faith there. He also probably felt bad that he didn't stay there longer to preach the gospel. So Paul ended up sending his friend Timothy to Thessalonica, trying to look after the church at Thessalonica and encourage them through Timothy. When Timothy arrived at the church at Thessalonica, the Christians were practicing their faith despite the difficulties, making sure to love each other. How happy must have Paul been hearing this news? In a letter, Paul wrote, I left you for the moment, but my heart is always with you. You are indeed our glory and our joy. Then he added, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Friends, Paul's last words to the church at Thessalonica seems to be a much-needed counsel to us as we walk in our faith in Christ. As we practice our faith in God, I hope that we remember to rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. Music